Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a long sleeve shirt that has a hood on it. So it's not really a hoodie because it's thinner like a t-shirt. But it does have a hood, so I'm just going to call it a shirt. So to begin, I'm going to fold my shirt in half, and I'm going to take a washable marker and mark the center of the front of the shirt. Just make a mark at the top of the shirt and a mark at the bottom of the shirt. I'm going to put a mandala on this shirt, so I'm going to grab these two marks that I just made and isolate the front of the shirt where I'm going to put the mandala. It's out of sight of the camera, but I put a mark in the middle where I want my mandala to start. I'm taking the bottom portion and folding it up, and I'm taking the top portion of the shirt and folding it down. And I'm folding the whole thing in half. I'm going to take a couple seconds here to straighten out my shirt, make sure I don't have any wrinkles in it, any wrinkles in the folds, kind of straighten things out. Right now I have two major folds which are facing me and three folds which are facing away from me. The side that has two folds, I'm going to fold that over toward the side that has three. And I'm just going to flip my shirt over so that I can handle this a little bit better. And I'm going to fold the other side down. So if you're keeping track, on the side that's facing you, there are five folds, and the side that's facing away, there are two. To hold things in place while I start to tie my mandala, I'm just going to put a couple of binder clips on here. At the very end, I'm just grabbing the very end portion of this mandala, putting a little bit of sinew, wrapping it around several times, and pulling it tight. You can tell when the sinew catches the fabric and it locks down on it. I'm going to take this pointed area and fold it down, lock it in place with some sinew, then I'm going to take it and fold it back, tie it with sinew, fold it toward me, fold it away from me. I'm going to continue that on down the shirt just a little ways. Because this shirt is a size small, I don't want my mandala to be huge or it's going to just, it'll go all the way to the armpits of this shirt, which I don't want. Then I'm just going to make some additional folds in here and tie it up with some sinew. One of the neat things about making a mandala is you can just kind of experiment. You can put various folds in your shirt, tie them with sinew, and see what your results are.
Now that I'm finished with the mandala, I'm going to work on the hood. I'm laying it out as flat as I can get it, taking the middle, and I'm going to spiral it. Then tie it up with some rubber bands. Now that my mandala is done and my hood is tied up, I'm going to start on the sleeves. I'm going to lay them out and try to get as many of the wrinkles out as I can and smooth them out. Once I get it lined up as well as I can, I'm going to fan fold them. I'm making very large fan folds. Then I'm going to hold them in place with some rubber bands. The rest of the shirt I'm just going to scrunch up and I'm going to hold it in place with rubber bands. Now that my shirt is dry, I'm going to go ahead and start dyeing it. I'm going to begin with the mandala portion. I put some of my dye down into small needle tip bottles so that I have a little bit better control over it. For the mandala, I'm going to use three colors. I'm using Wisteria, Sweet Pea, and Lavender, which are all Dharma Trading Company colors. I'm just going to alternate these colors all the way down the mandala.
portion, I'm going to start with lavender. And across from the lavender, I'm going to put wisteria. The pie portion between those two is sweet pea. I'm going to leave the other pie portion empty because I'm going to use the color that I use on the scrunch portion to dye that with. Well, I have my sweet pea right here. I'm going to dye a little bit of the sleeves with that. I'm going to put the strip right down the middle of the sleeves. I'm going to make that sweet pea. Then I'm going to flip my shirt over and dye the hood in the same colors that I did on the other side. For the sleeves, I'm going to stripe them with wisteria and sweet pea, just alternating the colors all the way across. Again, I'm going to dye both the front and the back side the same. rest of the shirt I'm going to do in grape. I have a couple containers of grape but they're the same color. They're just in a couple different bottles. Once I'm finished I'm going to put my shirt aside and let it process for 24 hours.
Okay, so here's how our shirt turned out. I really like that mandala. I think it turned out really well. Lots of white lines in there. I pulled my sinew nice and tight. And I think the swirl on the hood looks really cool. Thank you guys for watching.